Yeah, I mean, the Blackhawks lead the first round with the best player in the draft, obviously. It's, it's and- kind of hard to miss some when you draft the first overall. but Highest upside, uh, right? I would think so. Uh, a little and more, then, I'm saying. What? Like, highest upside from, like, draft position has to be Oliver Moore, right? He's up there, I'd say. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what he looks like in the NHL because, like, is he a center? Is he a wing? Again, probably the best skater in this draft. It's at least top five for sure. Who, he does, who he did definitely Chicago super smart. take? Last year, late, like it was like early 20s, I think. Another go for commit. I can't think of his name right now. Shit. We're doing well. Stand by. You continue talking. Um, but yeah, I mean, the reaction, the, the, I think it was like, well, obviously the, the reaction on, on Minnesota social media was just fucking bananas everyone was upset. Uh, sam rinzel or rinzel oh that's right rinzel who by the way the d pair of minnesota wilds fifth round pick this year uh he's his d partner this year in waterloo well um, he's also going to be roommates with oliver moore this year as freshman for the gophers oh is he yeah so that's kind of funny that's decent decent little situation for him uh yeah but dude the, the reaction specifically that like they missed out on Oliver War. I, I know that everyone really obviously the Gopher commit. He's <coughs> Wait, I mean really? Oliver, he's a stud. He's good. He's great. He's a great player. One of the best players in the draft, obviously. Uh, but like the visceral reaction, I thought was like pretty crazy. Like again, I I probably had him higher than nineteen than in my own like ratings or whatever. But you got like, a nine in our mock. Yeah, it seemed like they just uh, Detroit was just a perfect situation for him too, and that felt like the right like spot in the draft. Yeah, and then me, they got but... like, the ginger caveman instead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hadn't heard that. That just caught me off guard. <laughs> uh, fuck, that's that's like you just caught me off guard. Like you catch me off guard with like the Paul Rudd comment an hour and twenty four <laughs> minutes into this, like fucking unbelievable. I don't know how uh, you always let your guard down. It's always coming. <laughs> I don't know. It's because I have half a brain, dude. I can't read. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, just the reaction though to, to the specifically to the Oliver Moore thing, I thought was like not like crazy, but it's like really interesting for me because it was specifically Oliver Moore that everyone was like, "Fuck, <laughs> trade up, you loser, <laughs> fucking <laughs> losers." Will you go punch Kyle Davidson in the face, please, and <laughs> take his pick and steal his lunch money? Oh man. Um, but yeah, no, people are upset about missing out Oliver Moore. I mean, I get it. Hey, but, um, you know, they did, they missed. So and they did, well, they, no, they didn't even miss. They literally did not miss because they, they could have just go steal a fucking draft pick. Like they can't, it's not legal. Uh, I don't know if it's like when they didn't sign Philip Johansson, they got like the compensatory pick. It's like, well, if we fucking did that last year, we could do that in the first round this year too. 